Welcome to the trunk sequence, focusing on twists. Begin in Tadasana. Feet can be together or slightly apart. Reach the fingertips to the floor. Lift through the chest and start to increase your inhale. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in, arms wide. Breathe out, forward fold. Hands to floor or shins, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Take the arms wide, move to flat back. Reach the hands up, breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in to halfway lift. Press the thighs and the knees back, reach the chest forward. And breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in to flat back, push the ground away, reach the arms overhead. Breathe out, forward fold. Hands to floor or shins, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Step one leg back into lunge. Make your lunge strong, all the weight in the feet. Light in the fingertips. Plant the hands and step back into plank. Take the knees to the floor. Chaturanga, chin and chest to the floor first, hips high. Press the tops of the feet into the ground, draw the knees or draw the handles up and peel the upper body for cobra. Breathe out, release. Hips high, pressing back into downward facing dog. Breathe into your downward facing dog, bend your knees lots. Sink your weight back, reach the hips high. Spread through the upper back. Step one leg forward into lunge. Step the other leg forward and fold. Hands to shins, halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, arms wide to flat back, push the ground away to stand up. If it feels good, you can take the palms together. Here we move into a slight back bend. So draw the core up, draw the pelvis under, and lean back like you're leaning over a chair. Breathe out, take the arms wide, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. You can bend your knees as much as you need here. Breathe out, forward fold. Step one leg back into lunge. Light in the fingertips. Step the other leg back into plank. Knees to floor. Chaturanga, reach the chest forward. Cobra or up dog. Pressing back into downward facing dog. Reach your chest to your thighs and the hips high. Push the floor away with your hands. You can gently bend and straighten the knees. You can pedal out the feet. Breathe deeply into the ribs. Look forward. Step one leg forward into lunge. Make the legs strong. Step the other leg forward and fold. Halfway lift, hands on floor or shins. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe into flat back, push the ground away. Rise up. Draw the core under and lean back over the top of the chair. Try to keep compression out of your lower back by pulling the handles up. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Stepping one leg back into lunge, step the other leg back into plank. Knees down, optional. High to low push up. Cobra or up dog, regardless of which position you're in, draw your handles up. Breathe out, relax. 
Breathe in, push back into downward facing dog. Look forward, step one leg forward, plant the back heel, rise up into warrior one. If you need to, slight lean forward with the trunk to help avoid any compression in the lower back. Pull up through the arch of the back foot. Breathe in, straighten the knee and lengthen the body. So the heel to the tips of the hands are one long line. Then bring the hands down. Opposite hand to the front thigh and twisting to that side. If it feels good, you can make a half bind where your other hand moves towards your lower back and then slides across to your opposite hip. Keep reaching your spine long and corkscrew around. Breathe in, come back to warrior one. Breathe out, hands to floor, step it back into plank. Breathe in and breathe out into your lower cobra or up dog. Pushing back into downward facing dog. Step the other leg forward into lunge, plant the back heel, rise up to warrior one. Draw up through the back arch, slight lean forward if you need. And if you're feeling compression in your lower back, you can straighten the leg and then sink back into the lunge with a slightly more forward lean. Reach the body forward in one long line. Take the opposite hand to the front thigh and the other hand can stay up or it can wrap around your lower back to the opposite hip and then corkscrew the spine towards the front leg. Try to keep your hips square as you do your corkscrew. Breathe into your rib cage. Lengthen through the middle of the spine. Breathe in, come back to centre, warrior one. Breathe out, hands to floor, step it back into plank. Breathe in, breathe out and lower. Cobra or up dog, breathe in. Pressing back into downward facing dog. Reach your heels to the floor, reach the hips to the sky. Look forward, step one leg forward, step the other leg forward and fold. Breathe in for halfway lift and fold. Widen the feet to the width of the hips, grab the elbows or you can grab the big toe in big toe bind and hang. Hang your spine from your hips. The knees can be slightly bent. Chin is tucked. Head is heavy. Reach your elbows to the floor. Each time you breathe in, lengthen. And each time you breathe out, reach. Bend your knees, move through to flat back. Push the ground away. Rise up. Leaning back over the chair. Come back to center. Arms wide, forward fold. Hands to floor or shins, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold. Step one leg back into lunge. Step the other leg back into plank. High to low push up, cobra or up dog.
pressing back into downward facing dog. If at any point you would like to skip the vinyasa, take one leg forward into lunge, bring the back knee to the floor. You might need a, a towel or a pad underneath your back knee. Take both hands out to the diagonal, reaching away from your front leg. Draw your back hip down. Reach the back thigh to the ground. Reach the hands away so you get a big side body stretch. Breathe into that side of your body. Walk the hands back in. Stepping back into plank. Step forward, other leg. Knee to floor, walk the hands off to the diagonal. Sit the hips down, reach the back thigh to the floor. It's nice to be up on the fingertips of one hand. So you can reach from your hip right through to your shoulder. Breathe into that side of the body. Walk the hands back in, stepping back into downward facing dog. Look forward, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Breathe in, hands on shins or floor, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe into flat back, push the ground away. Reach the arms overhead. Draw the handles up and if you want to take that slight upper back bend. Return to centre, breathe out, forward fold. Hands to floor or shins, halfway lift, breathe out, forward fold. Step one leg back, step the other leg back. High to low push up, if you'd like to skip the vinyasa you can. Cobra or up dog, meeting back in downward facing dog. Step one leg forward, plant the back heel, rise up into warrior one. Straighten the front knee, reach from the hips to the fingertips opposite hand to the front thigh and corkscrew around. Breathe in and lengthen through the spine. Return to center. Raise the hands. Warrior one. Hands to floor. Step it back. Vinyasa if you want, high to low push up, cobra or up dog, or you can push straight back into downward facing dog. Step the other leg forward, plant the back heel, rise up into warrior one. Straighten the front knee, lean the torso forward in one long line. Take the opposite hand to the front thigh, Wrap the other hand behind the back if you'd like or leave it out to the side and corkscrew around. Make the lower and mid back long. Return to centre, raise the arms, warrior one, hands to floor, step it back into plank, vinyasa or downward facing dog. Lift one leg for three legged dog and start to reach it across the body. Try to keep 
the hand on the same side as the lifted leg planted firmly and it creates a, a long stretch through the body. Bend the knee and return to centre. Reach the other leg back and curling over, making a long line from the hand to the foot. Keep both hands heavy. Bend the knee to return to centre. Vinyasa if you want it, otherwise meeting back in downward facing dog. Bring the knees to the floor, move on to the fingertips and sit the hips back for fingertip child's pose. It's nice to rest your head on a block, otherwise you can hover it above the floor. Try to reach your fingertips and your hips away from each other. Slowly coming down to a seated pose, we're going to finish with a few seated twists. Firstly, one leg out in front, the other leg to the side tucked in with about a hand's width between the foot and the thigh. Make the, th the front thigh active, reach the foot forward, flex the foot, and then take the opposite hand to the thigh and slide it down alongside the thigh. Keep the spine long as you corkscrew around. Breathe into the rib cage. Each time you breathe in, lengthen, be taller. Each time you breathe out, twist. Gently bring your body back to the center. You can move the foot across the leg or you can have it next to the leg, whatever's more comfortable. Whichever you choose, your opposite hand will wrap to that knee and we twist the other direction. So again, lift up from the hips, long spine, and then twist. Each time you breathe in, lengthen your spine. Each time you breathe out, twist a little further. Try to keep both sit bones equal here. Gently returning to centre. Changing sides. One leg long, the other leg tucked to the side with a bit of distance between the foot and the thigh. Make the, the lengthened leg active. Pull the toes back, press the knee down. Opposite hand to thigh, slide it down the thigh, reach the spine long and twist towards that front leg. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, twist. Breathe like you're coming up from swimming underwater for a really long time. Deep gulping breaths. Come back to centre. Take the foot over the thigh or next to the thigh. Opposite hand wraps around the thigh and we twist the other direction. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, twist. Fill your lungs, fill all the spaces in your lungs. Gently returning to centre. 